Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heat. I'll be turning heat. I'll be I'll be turning heat. Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heat. I'll be turning heat. I'll be I'll be turning heat. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is D Landry of One Entity Productions, and I am here with uh, Noon and Rhino. What's going on? Two performers that are going to be at Fly Fest 2012 on May 19th at Numbers Nightclub on West Timer. Be sure to buy a ticket from either one of these artists or any of the numerous other artists that will be on the bill that day. As you know, we've got a lot of uh, interviews up already. We just posted the fourth one a couple days ago. Very excited about it. Um, and this is our fifth interview. So uh, five. congratulations. You got yeah. five on it. <laughs> you got five on it. Um, so I got a few questions. And as I already told them, none of these questions are music related at all. So uh, we're going to see if we can throw them for a loop. We come unprepared for everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before we get off into the interview, just kind of tell them uh, uh, where you're from. They know who you are, but just tell them uh, where you're from and just a little bit about yourself before we get off into the questions. My name is Noon, a.k.a. Noonston, Texas. This is my Alabama buddy right here, Rhino, but he's hailing from the H. But, uh, yeah, man, we are doing this music thing, performing at Fly Fest, and uh, we're here with... Uh, David, Mr. Dirty, gonna help us out, man. <laughs> you know, so we're gonna get down with it. All right, so awesome. So, we did a little bit of research for the interview, okay. and uh, we found out that you have a video out called Ford Taurus. That's right, yes, absolutely. What's your favorite constellation? <laughs> What's my your favorite, favorite constellation? Oh, <laughs> I there was more to that. <laughs> Yeah, My, oh, like, Ryan, why not? Is Orion a constellation? It is. Right, Orion cool. is a yeah. constellation. Yeah. I'm glad y'all didn't give me that question. <laughs> just got over. Don't worry, yeah. I, got, I got some for you, too. We had to start over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, since, well, actually, we were thrown for a loop. We, we thought it was you only, but since you're here, you could also answer uh, this question. If you could be any Dragon Ball Z character, which one would you be? I've never seen a Dragon Ball Z episode in my life. Man. Man. Nerd. Hand to God. Man. I, I... Krillin, baby. Woo! Yeah, that's right. It's the whole Cell Saga. I watched it all. I'm down. I, I, I fuck with Vegeta, too, but, you know, everybody wants to be the tough guy. I'm trying to hand everybody the Sensu beans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck with me. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Free verse entertainment mm -hmm. is the label. Who would you give your best verse to, Lil B or Fifty Tyson? Fifty Tyson. Yeah, probably deserves it more. You? Fifty all day. Yeah. Not Lil B. No, no. We respect what he's doing, but I you know. know I just can't put it in my ride and listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, cool. Rhino, what's your favorite battery brand? Battery brand. I remember growing up, you know, the bunny was always cool with the commercials, but I was a Duracell cat. Gotcha. I don't know if it was the advertisement or how long my Walkman used to last. <laughs> the Duracell. These kids just, don't know about Walkmans. Right? I know they don't. You remember the Talk Boy Home Alone? If that's too far for you, then something that plays tapes. If y'all know what tapes. tapes are, they were okay. right before CDs. Okay. Remember when you could press them and see if your battery was still good? That Put them in the refrigerator. You could barely, barely press play and see how it acted. Yeah, uh, they had the little reader. You know what you're talking about? You had the little reader on the side. Yep, yep. I, I always bought mine at the dollar store, so <laughs> I got mine, the black ones with the little white cat on it. Those, those were my favorite brand right the there. The Ever Ready. I have to tell somebody, Man, thank you very I have to much. tell somebody about Ever Ready batteries. They have a they have a brand called uh, they have a t-shirt brand. These guys called Feline, and their symbol is a cat's face with a number nine written on it. Yeah. And I told them I was like, dude, you should do this shirt with the Ever Ready battery. And they were like, what's Ever Ready? Like they did not know. It was a young kids. So yeah. shout out to Feline. Yeah. Y'all remember Michael Jordan came out with that brand of batteries that you could recharge? Really? Does nobody remember this? No. Michael Jordan endorsed the brand of batteries that could be recharged. I see his cologne at Ross, but that's about it. <laughs> Not only one. 
<laughs> You're probably the only one. Okay, so if you've watched any of the other interviews with uh, uh, Kyle, Hubbard, Kyle Hubbard, we went back okay. in his past and, and found a song of his. We went back in the past of uh, 2011. We went back okay. in the past of all the other artists. And we went back into your past. All right, what you got? And we found a little something from 2009. Okay. Right? Noonston Avenue. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Is that a freestyle? Noonston A V E. Noonston Ave is actually a uh, my producer, dude who does my recording. His name is Av At Last Productions. That's my boy Av. You know, we put it together. We come up with Noonston Avenue, so that's what it is. Awesome. Yeah. 2009. Yeah, I met him in 09, man. When I met this dude, slanging uh, chicken marsalas at Karate. <laughs> 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 um, right up. Uh, is there anything that you have to say to the fans out there? To the fans is that we're coming. Me and Noon, like you said, it came back from 09. He took a little personal hiatus to get his life completely correct. And he came back. I got with him. And it hadn't stopped since. South Alabama is my heart, Houston is my home. This is where we're at, so this is what we're trying to conquer right here. So right now, that's what it is, man. We're just recording, trying to make every show better than what it was. We got the live sound behind us now, guitar, drums, DJ scratching. So if you're coming to the show, you're getting more than what you paid for. Yeah, and just so. know that what that show date is, we've been working for two months prior to that that's to right. get to that show right. date. So we don't just show up and get on stage. We come prepared, man. So. We definitely, man. Our grind right now is with them shows, so that's what we really want. We want everybody to come through. And we really appreciate everyone buying tickets, but there's about half of y'all that don't show up even though you buy them. <laughs> we still need you to come through. I mean, I appreciate you. That helps with my promoters, but like, I need y'all like, to give come the through. Tickets away. You know <laughs> so, uh, yeah, definitely, man. Come I got, to the shows. I, got, I got two more questions. First one is a doozy. Second one, kind of a doozy. Here's the first question. What does the brand Mark Echo make you think of? Man, Mark Echo, I wore a lot of Echo. It makes me think about my early teens. It makes me think about MMA fighting now. But uh, yeah, Echo, man, it's hip hop. What does Echo make you think of? Mark Echo, my boy David Jones from way back in the day, that's all he ever wore was Mark Echo. And I think they kind of made it for Lou. Plus bigger size caps, <laughs> so, it's, so it fit him well. But uh, that was always my joke with him. But one of the first lines he ever spit when he got with me was, "You can call me Mark Echo because I'm always with Rhinoceros." That's right, yeah. yeah. Ah, that. That's a Mark Echo. I'm Mark always Echo, with Rhinoceros. Mark Echo will forever yeah. make me think of that. I'm that Rhinoceros. So your bitch ass. <laughs> that's what I was trying yeah, to get yeah, out. Definitely. Definitely. People don't know. They don't know about early hip hop brands. Oh yeah. They don't know. You gotta hip. You gotta school. You gotta teach the babies. And if you had to choose between Echo and South Pole, always go with Echo. <laughs> yeah. South Pole gets no love on my body. <laughs> At all. No. no. Okay. One last question before you uh, do all your promo and all that stuff. Sure, sure. What's your favorite water bottle brand? Man, I don't drink a lot of water bottles, so I guess whatever's the cheapest on the shelf. What's that? Uh, Dasani? <laughs> Aqua Blue? Uh, I've never drank Fiji. I don't believe in paying uh, $4 for something like that. So, uh, yeah, I like tap water. So holler at the city of Houston Mud Department. Yeah, I like my Woo. water from there. No, nah, I can't roll that way. I have, <laughs> I have, I have kidney issues, and I... I I got yeah. my, I I, I got my gallon job. of water right over there, but as far as bottled waters, I used to roll Dasani. I think I heard, or yeah, Dasani. Then I heard something bad about it. I'll get the Fiji every now and then. Depends on how much paper I got in my pocket or just what I feel like. That's all. I might want to walk in somewhere and they see I'm drinking Fiji. It might help my rep out. You know what I mean? But other than that, I'm just buying gall gallons of water. Ozarka Farms. Ozarka. All right. All right. So do your promo. Do your promo. Straight to the camera, let the people know what you're going to be doing. Well, if I may first say, check out NoonstonTX.com. That's N-O-O-N-S-T-O-N-T-X.com. And also check out 713FM.net. Me and Rhino about to be starting our own radio show on that, uh, on that website right there. Ooh. And uh, we try to base all of our dialogue in beef. So, uh, you know, 
Holler at us if you want to see us literally kill each other on the airwaves. Uh, you know, that's how we roll every day. We do the shows and then it's right back to beef. You know, so I'm proud to uh, kick this guy in his ass on the day. Already. Yeah, and right up. Same thing. Look out for the radio show coming up. You want to get with me at Twitter? It's Blame Rhino. B L A M E R Y N O. Same thing for my website, BlameRhino.com. Done by Al Hughes of Head Records. Shout out to all them boys on the southeast side over there. So you got BlameRhino.com. Twitter, Blame Rhino. His Twitter is Noonston. Same thing as the website. Follow me because apparently I'm behind. Yeah, so other than that, you got the Twitter, you got the website. Look out for the live shows and uh, the radio show soon to come. So be looking. And uh, once again, this is D Landry of One Entity Productions. And since everybody's quoting their Twitter, my Twitter is underscore OE for One Entity Productions underscore because I couldn't get One Entity Productions. Somebody already had it. And uh, <laughs> we'll be sure to post this video ASAP. Once again, I'm here with Noon and Rhino. They're going to be performing at Fly Fest, May 19th, 2012. It's going down Numbers Nightclub from 12 to 2 in the morning. One more thing, you can also pick my album, Blame Rhino, up right here at Check Other Outfitters right Woo! there in the locker. Yeah, check Other, shouts out to Tommy Bump, man. Always having a home for hip hop, man. All the time. Real and with shit. that being said, peace. <laughs> Every time I hit the corner, I be turning heat. I be turning heat. I be, I be turning heat. Every time I hit the corner, I be turning heat. I be turning heat. I be, I be turning heat.